welcome back students as we are looking for the fifth unit of this subject our today's topic is mobile ipv6 so let us start with it mobile internet protocol version 6 actually all the things are similar with the mobile ip vn concept that we already have discussed in our previous lectures but today we will revise that thing because our syllabus demand this thing so mobile internet protocol version 6 in the diagram before you you can see one mobile node is there we actually belongs to the home link actually home link and foreign link are nothing but the home network and foreign network okay home network having that mobile node home network is having one home agent also there is a foreign network the another network where our mobile node will move this foreign network will have his own foreign agent okay now if our mobile node present in the home network he must have some address and that address will belongs to home network so whenever this mobile node will communi will start communication he will use the address provided by home network or home link okay now here you can see the corresponding node or correspondent node the node who want to make a communication with our mobile node this corresponding node is using the link provided by home network that is home link and all the communication is happening by using this home link this is the standard communication happened here by using ipv6 but what will happen if our mobile node will move from home network to foreign network will this mobile node change its ip address if that mobile node will change the ip address and will get a new ip address provided by foreign network he will lose the communication with the correspondent node why because correspondent node have the ip address provided by the home network okay correspondent node is having the ip address of the mobile node which was provided by home network so correspondent node will use that ip address that ip address will bring the packets of information to the home network but right now mobile node is present is where mobile node is present in the home foreign network hence communication will not successfully happen therefore this concept is introduced you can see correspondent node is using the same ip address okay in th therefore the packets of the information moves to the home agent of the home network home agent now know that this mobile node is no longer available in the home network where this mobile node is in right now mobile node present in a foreign network foreign link now at that time when mobile node entered into the foreign network or foreign link foreign network actually uh, mobile node request to foreign node or foreign agent to register me at that time foreign agent registers this mobile node and informs the foreign agent that this mobile node is in the our network and foreign agent will create one 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 uh, care of address what temporary address one care of address and provide that care of address to the home agent for what if any packet is received up to you means up to for home agent home agent you do one thing use this care of address and by using this care of address that packet will automatically forwarded to the mobile node which is present inside our network who is say who is saying that this foreign agent is saying that 
okay foreign agent is the router present in the foreign link or foreign network and that care of address works as a tunnel in between mobile node and home agent you can see it here okay so whenever the correspondent node sends some information to the uh, mobile node mo that information moves to the home agent home agent recognize that this uh, information belongs to the mobile node and forward this information to the care of address provided by the foreign agent this care of address brings that messages that packets of information to the foreign link or foreign network and foreign agent present in the foreign network provide this information to the mobile node now what mobile node will do further will mobile node use this same link to forward this message because if this will happen the long route is taking place but mobile node directly send this information to the correspondent node and this thing is a optimization route optimization okay here in this chapter in this lesson we have covered two things internet protocol version 6 and route optimization also route optimization is nothing but this mechanism where mobile node uses this shortest route to send or make the uh, make the connection between correspondent node and mobile node okay thank you